everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. We're going to start off this neutral look using our Milani eyeshadow primer or any primer of your choice. When I do my neutral looks, I like to use a little concealer on my eyelid. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. There it is. This one is in the shade Toast. I think this one is about the closest to my skin tone. So I'm just going to apply that on the tops of my lids to even out my skin tone. That's my transition color. Today I'm going to be using Max Blush. This one is in Raisin. And you'll see what that looks like. Very pretty blush for darker skin tones. But it really makes a nice transition color as well. You see it has just the right amount of uh, like a reddish brown. Very pretty. Alright guys, so we have that so far. Now people with hooded lids, you want to go above your little crease here. This is your little natural crease, that little line that's going across my eye. And as you can see, if I put eyeshadow right there, you would never see it. Because once I open up my eye, it's pretty much gone. My eye kind of droops over it. So if you're hooded eyes like me, you would go a little bit above it. We're going to give the illusion that we have more eyelid space. Right now we're going to be doing our brow bone color and I'm choosing the color Naked. And it's a matte shade here in the palette and I love my Naked palette. It's been a while since I used it. It's right there. Just a tan color. It's matte. I'm going to put it right there in the up corner right here. And I always like to go back to my transition color and just blend around. I didn't put anything extra on the brush. This is the same brush. Didn't put anything else on there. I'm just blending my brow bone to the transition. The next color we're going to apply is called Sidecar. And you can see it's kind of a sparkly, silverish color. We're going to apply that right to the lid. I'm using a eye shading brush. This is the E55 from Sigma. And we're applying it right onto the lid. Not to your face like I just did. Okay. Right onto your lid. So all my hooded eye people, if you open up your eye and you cannot see the color, you know you need to go a little bit higher. Take that color up. You see what my little line is here? I took it a little bit farther up. When I open up my eye, I can still see color. Alright guys, we're going to start bringing in some darker colors. So if you have a very dark brown, get that out. I have, what color is this? Deep Roast. And this one is by Coastal Scents. This is a hot pot. You guys know it's very affordable. Goes on sale all the time for 99 cents. And you see how deep that color is on the brush. We're going to start working that in the outer corner. So we're going to tap it on first. And then we're going to start bringing it inward to the inner parts of the eye. And this is a blending brush. This blending brush is by MAC. This is the 217. So I hope you guys are noticing when I do apply here in the outer corner, we're going in that V shape right here, down and up. That's your V right in there. And don't be afraid to pack the color on on the outer corner. Pack it on. Once I've created the V, I will drag a little bit of the color inside like that, side to side. Now the great part about having your eyeshadow on one side of the brush is that you can flip the brush upside down like this and settle here in a little area where your eyeball is and apply eyeshadow to the top. As you can see I'm resting my brush right on top of my eyeball. No dark color is getting on to the white or the sidecar color. It's all going above it because I've twisted my uh, brush around. So for those of us who like your lids looking like this, you can leave them like this. For those of us who want to go even more dramatic, say for instance you want a neutral look but you want to wear it for an evening affair. You can go more dramatic by adding a little black or a deeper color. I do have a color called Burnished Brunette. It's nearly black. Here it is on my finger. Almost black. And I can add that in the outer corner as well. And in the um, 
bottom lash line right here in the corner and smoke it out. So I'm going to do that same brush. All right, guys, I'm going back to my transition area. Nothing on the brush, just going around it. I'm going to apply a little bit of liner very close to the lash line and blend it out. I'm using the Rimmel London uh, gel liner. This one is in black, 001 black, okay? Now that I applied a little bit of liner very close to the uh, lash line, I'm going to take this little eyeliner brush. This is those uh, flat brushes like that. I'm going to dip it into a little black eyeshadow and just basically smear it. I'm going to apply my Super Sizer Mascara just to my top lashes for right now. And then I'm going to apply some lashes. Now I'm going to apply these lovely lashes. These are number 50, I'm sorry, number 43 from Christina or yeah, Christina lashes. They're made like by the same people I think that do the red cherry lashes and I've got these off of uh, Amazon. I'm going to leave the link below. You get 12 lashes for I believe about $18, something like that. I think with shipping, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll leave the link below. But they're very pretty, very natural, but a little bit flared. Just a little bit of elegance with them. So I'm going to apply those and I'll be right back to complete the face. Stay tuned. I'm just going to use my cold liner here. This one is from Milani. I'm just going to line the inner rim of the eye. If you can't do this, because sometimes it tickles or it waters your eyes. And you can skip this part. Just put it on the outside of the eye and smear it out to smoke it. I'm also going to take a little bit more mascara and I'm going to add it to the lower lash line. All right, guys, for the inner corner of our eye, we're going to go right back into that side car color, the sparkly color we used on our lid, and just apply a little bit in the corner of the bottom lash line here, and the same on the other side. and this is your completed eye look. So for my lips, I'm going to use a little bit of chestnut liner. This one is from MAC. And for some lip color, I'm going to use uh, the Delium 2's new lip crayons. This one is in Kadoomint Orange. So I'm going to use that. Okay, and there you have it. Also, you can do a more neutral lip. So I'm going to wipe this one off and I'm going to try a more neutral lip. But that is your orange lip. Alrighty, so we're going to use our chestnut again. And we're going to use Velvet Teddy by MAC. And this one is a matte color. And there is your neutral lip. So I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. That was my Naked palette. I do have another palette from Borghese uh, Makeup Company. Came out with a very nice palette comparable to the Naked palette. But the shadows are way bigger. More club for your buck. I'm going to be using further on down the line. I'm going to try to do a lot of neutral looks for you guys. Because I hear you. I see that's what everybody's putting in the comment section. So we're going to do some neutral looks and I'm going to talk through them. So please stay tuned. Remember the eyelashes I'm going to put below and I'm going to try to list everything I use down below, even with the face. If I can remember everything I put on my face, everything will be down below. So check down there. Also with the hair, I do have a complete tutorial on how I got my hair like this. So you guys stay tuned for that. It's coming up. I'll link it either above or down below as well. Cyber kisses and see you guys in the next video. Bye.